Once he catches the ball, as he penetrates to the basket, there's a wide crease, nobody there to help out. It's not until Isle comes over when Ramsey's actually shooting the ball. And that's what the trying to create. Hi, I am Clinton Ramsey of the Cleveland State University. I was a part of the Sweet 16 basketball team in 1986, and now I'm back to get my degree. Uh, one of the things I, I really uh, remember and I enjoyed was the fact that I was one of the only players to have a key to Woodland Gym uh, that the coach gave me. And he said that whenever you felt like coming up, you can come on up, you know, come up and work out. And a lot of times I would do that, it would be 11.30, 10.30, 11.30 at night, and I'd be like, you know what, I need to go and shoot some baskets. And uh, it was just an awesome experience to, to be able to experience Whitland Gym as it was. Um, fans were right on top of you uh, during games. It was standing room only. Uh, great atmosphere. Uh, I mean, it just, it's just uh, remarkable on how the city came and wanted to come and see us. But coming into that season, everybody kind of like put together and said, you know what, this is Gonna, we're gonna make a run at it. We're gonna do. We're gonna put every throw all our apples in the same basket. Um, be a team. And um, we came in, and when we started practice, it was like a different mentality almost. It was like you know this team could be special. Just from beginning to end, uh, it was a great ride. Uh, the, the emotional ups, the emotional downs. Uh, just just to be there was incredible, and it was a thrill to just to know that we brought that to the city of Cleveland. When I left here, I was approximately 35 hours away from graduating. Um, I had all intentions on coming back, but um, the, the professional league that I went to played during the summer, um, and then I ended up starting to raise a family. Uh, actually, I became a uh, truck driver. I have a commercial driver's license, and I've been driving since 91, 92. I, uh, I pushed to come back. I would call a coach. I would call the athletic department. I would call uh, my academic advisor who was continue, he's still here at this time. Um, I would talk to him. I need to come back. I want to get my degree. Um, I pursued it, I pursued it, and I pushed so hard to get back here. They said, okay, well, we're going to put you on a full scholarship just as if you were playing basketball. So they paid for my rent, they paid for the food, they paid for my, uh, my school and books. And uh, I went and got a part-time job myself to help pay, you know, to cover other bills. And uh, I have every, th every uh, access to the university as every student athlete here, except for uh, they don't give me shoes. <laughs> it's beyond words. I can't thank the university enough for what they've done. Um, you know, I, I just love them to death. And this is just, this is my home. I love Cleveland State. It's me a lot. And the interaction has been just, just tremendous between me and the professors and me and the, uh, the other students. The biggest thing I would tell them is to never give up. Um, because I had to tell myself that so many times. Um, there were so many times in my life where I could have just said, you know what, I'm, I'm not gonna go back. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna bother them anymore. But persistence, um, don't give up, keep going. If you have a dream, go for it. It's never too late.